approaching its 100th birthday, 1927 Ford Model T Roadster. How's this for a cute guy? Of course, four cylinder underneath the hood. We get all the way around this, I'll pop that hood open so you can check out the engine bay. Of course, the wood wheels, white walls. Great look. As you can see, crank handle in the front. This also does have a battery with a starter on it so you can push the knob on the floor make it a little easier to start. And we're going to fire this up at the end of this video also so you can listen to it run. Now if you want to check out the still pictures also, you can see the engine bay, the underside, interior. Check out the trunk. Still pictures can be seen at uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. I'm going to take you right there. And of course, you can call us 507-386-1726. Lights do work up here in the front. I've had those on. As far as paint, um, it's black. As with any black car, you're going to get some imperfections in it. This one, it's got a little bit of patina too, maybe a little nick. Uh, some paint showing its age here and there. That's kind of the cool part about these cars. You hate that one that looks like it just rolled out of the paint booth. Looks like a brand new car, especially when the thing is going to be approaching its 100th birthday so it's got that good model t look to it is what i like to call it check out the running boards the wood wheels just make it with those wide white walls the old firestone tires gum dipped i think it should say on there possibly take a look at that firestone gum dipped kind of cool thing about that is look at that sign right up there behind it firestone gum dipped pretty neat once again we do consider trades financing is available of course we can assist with transportation now as far as the top on this when a canvas top i'd call it more of a fabric um, top than a vinyl or anything like that and you can see the still pictures i have it folded up in the still pictures uh, maybe here at the end of the video i'll flip it up and take a look at it um, but anyway, either way, you can see it in the still pictures. Uh, it does need the plastic little rear window installed if you'd want that in there or not. It's going to keep the shade off your back, so to speak, or keep you dry if you wanted it up. But if you're doing parades or having fun with this car, you're probably going to have that top down. Remember, still pictures, uniqueclassiccars.com. Click the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. Gotta love the horn. Yes, it does work. <laughs> Take a look at the interior. Of course, black vinyl. Of course, the three pedals down below. One that makes you go on the left, the one that makes you go backwards in the middle, and the one that makes you stop on the right. Parking brake all the way back and kind of the two speeds when it's pushed forward. Timing here, throttle on the right side. Just take a look at the gauge. One simple gauge for amps, and your key and your light switch. That's kind of it in a nutshell. Um, do a couple things. I want to show you the top, so I'm going to flip that up and uh, let you check out the top. And uh, then, like I said, we'll fire it up. Uh, I'll come back with the top up and uh, the engine base you can see that so give me a second let's check those two things out and last but not least here's the top up like I mentioned the rear plastic has aged and come a little brittle in us out of it now whether you want to just clean that up leave it the way it is fine that way and or if you want to know somebody saw the piece in there but you can see it's pretty much free of much for rips tears holes looks good in the black looks authentic got a great look to it and here's the engine bay just want to show you there is a gas shut off up here before you get down to the filter and one also closer to the carb and uh, that right there should be in the run position like I said, we'll fire this up yet before we end this video. Just wanted to quick show you this. Doing it myself, so let me grab a little help to get this fired up. 
And like I said, let's let you listen to it run. This is all steel, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. Body, fenders, everything, all steel on this one. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. All right, I'm gonna fire this up for you. It's really not too tough to get going. This is a 12 volt system, by the way, and it will spin it right over. And uh, just had everything going, so this isn't gonna take a whole lot. Now, you could turn this all the way to the right, turn the fuel off. Again, there's valves up underneath the hood. I would use that, turn this key left, and away we go. Starter down by the floor and the foot on it. All you did is tap that right here, and that's what spun it over. So, piece of cake there. Of course, your timing. Left, throttle over here. Those are all working. Parking brake on. Take a peek at the engine. Pretty cool. There you go. 1927 Model T. Give us a call. 507 386 1726. Classiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. And remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. We can sure assist with transportation in this beauty. Give us a call.